Okay. Morning, everybody. We're in the outlet again. I guess I could show you the outside. I think it's Life Flight. And sitting at the uh, San Francisco uh, Airport, International Airport. Going to try to maybe get to Alcatraz real quick. And, of course, I'm using uh, this test is for the encoder for OBS on uh, high definition resolution HDR. And I'm recording under Havoc this time. Uh, I, I learned uh, through my readings, it seems like... Uh, when you record in high definition, uh, bottom line, it has to do with pixels. And when you add a HDR, high definition resolution recording, that actually has to do with colors. So right now, uh, I'm going to upload a YouTube uh, video in HDR, which would be uh, high density pixels and color resolution instead of just high definition. And I noticed when uh, I look on YouTube and play back a video that the uh, uh, video has an option on YouTube to go to settings and when YouTube renders the high HDR or the high definition resolution video it shows HDR on YouTube never noticed that before but I'm learning what the heck okay let's get this thing started I don't want to take too long yeah, we don't need that. Gyros. Strobes, we'll throw that on. Fuel valve. I don't know if my throttle's going to work this time. Oscar Papa Alpha with Whiskey Request Taxi for takeoff west departure. Oscar Papa Alpha Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 28 left using taxiway Yankee Zulu Bravo Foxtrot Cross Runway 19 right Foxtrot Cross Runway 01 right Foxtrot. Contact tower on 120 decimal 5 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 28 left using taxiway Yankee Zulu Bravo Foxtrot Cross Runway 19er right Foxtrot Cross Runway 01 right Foxtrot Oscar Papa Alpha. And to get my fuel fl flow going here. Okay. what we got. I still don't have no torque pedal, so... You can see in the uh, description what I'm running, and I'm on Google Maps, so. 
so far, a lot of people have said that uh, Google Maps is kind of bad. I, I really like it. I think the detail is way better than Bing. It seems like it's loading the uh, scenery inside uh, the cache or the cache and uh, once you fly it fly the uh, uh, the route that you're going to uh, if you fly it the second and third time it's already in the cache so the scenery uh, profiles or textures or whatever they're called and everything are already there and you don't get them them pop-ups on the scenery I, uh, I very seldom see it even right now never flown the Alcatraz before or never flown this uh, this route before, so looks pretty good. Not too bad. Considering the cloud cover, I'm getting pretty good frame rate. See what it looks like here over San Francisco. We're doing about 110 knots. I also noticed that it uh, takes a long time for uh, YouTube to render uh, a HDR video. So I got like sometimes like overnight. Uh, I recorded uh, in one of these test videos about uh, 20 minutes and it didn't render to HDR high definition resolution uh, until the next day for me buildings aren't really that bad I don't have uh, no scenery inserts or special scenery add-ons for the uh, San Francisco area. I don't even know if they have any. I'm sure they do though. So this is just all uh, normal Microsoft and whatever textures Google Maps is throwing in there. real smooth guys crystal is the clarity is just unreal getting around 50. They're not too bad. I've had my 
settings in the uh, in the sim uh, set low. I mean, I can get around 70, 80 uh, frames per second with low settings. Uh, it, to tell you the truth, I I don't see any difference. I really don't see any difference as far as the the speed and the smoothness. Yeah, we got a cruise ship over there, huh? Golden Gate Bridge, I guess. I've been to San Francisco, pretty nice place. At least it used to be. This is Alcatraz, smaller than I remember. Ah. Never been on it. Never been on it. Look at the waves. That was pretty cool. So much fun. So much fun. Okay. So uh, we will see how this encoder works. Thanks for watching. And catch y'all later.